In this lesson, we will look at generating cross-section reports for CBCT scan using the CS3D Viewer software. This is a valuable tool in which a series of cross-sectional slices may be generated through a selected region of interest. To begin, we must decide which type of cross-section we would like to create. The options vary depending on which mode tab is selected. For orthogonal slicing, you can choose axial, coronal, or sagittal. For curved slicing, you can choose panoramic, oblique coronal, also known as transaxial, and implants. For custom slicing, you can choose posterior anterior, lateral, and implants. And for oblique slicing, you can select oblique axial, oblique coronal, and oblique sagittal. Please note that for the implant cross-section report, virtual implants must already be in the volume. To create a cross-section, select the appropriate slicing tab at the top. Then under Export Tools area, click the Generate Cross-Section button. The Cross-Section Tool dialog window will appear. First, select the slice type. The region of interest views change depending on the selected slice type. Next, left click and drag the dotted blue lines in the region of interest views to set your region boundaries. In this case, I'm going to select to go around an implant. Your slice count depends on the defined region of interest but can be modified. So instead of 28 slices, perhaps I only want to display 12. Notice how much smaller the region of interest becomes. You can also choose to lock the number of slices that you've chosen. This will prevent the distance that you've selected from changing and you can move it back and forth and it will remain the same distance apart. But by locking it, it prevents you from doing further customizations. So I'm going to unlock it. If you choose parallel mode to generate parallel slices between the region of interest boundaries, then you may select your, slicing, your slice spacing in either micrometers or millimeters. If you choose angular, you can set the spacing in degrees. If you use angular mode, then the cross-section report creates slices in a circle, with the center point being where the transaxial slice, the blue line, intersects with the axial slice, the yellow line. You can set the integration thickness with the drop-down. You can go everywhere from the native resolution all the way to the thickest slice. And you can also choose the display mode using AVG, which is average, or MIP, which is maximum intensity projection. In the print area, you can choose which template is brought up when you generate the report. In the mouse section, you can choose the function of your scroll wheel. You can set it to zoom or to slide. Right now, I have mine set to zoom. So if I move my cursor over the image and roll the wheel, notice it zooms in. If I change it to slide, instead of zooming, it will go through each slice. Notice at the bottom, you can save the presets for future use on another cross-section report. In the center at the bottom, you can cancel the generate cross-section report. You can print, which sends it to our CS Film Composer, or you can review it, which will send it to the Review tab. We're going to hit Print.
This is the report generated for parallel with a slice, thick, slice count of 12. Notice you can right click and drag your image within the frame to adjust its position. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and then adjust. If you wish to adjust brightness and contrast, simply left click and drag across your image either up or down or left or right. At the top of each image, you do have a number of functions to choose from. You can set your zoom level. You could choose what is showing. You can choose which objects are visible. You can reset your brightness and contrast. And you can also select Image Selector. If you wish to add your office information into the boxes, just simply hover over them, click, and then you can backspace and then add your office information. For further detailed information on using the Film Composer and customizing the templates, please see our recorded class on Film Composer. Thank you for attending today's class on Generate Cross-Section Report.